Well, king tides are hitting this coastline with the highest tides of the year to date. Action News 8 reporter Caitlin Conrad was out at Elkhorn Slough where a walking tour showed people what the future may look like with rising sea levels. The King's Tides walking tour is by far the most popular walk California Department of Fish and Wildlife offers at Elkhorn Slough. There's something about seeing these incredibly high tides um, and seeing things like trails and uh, habitats just get swallowed up by the ocean uh, that people are fascinated by. The estuary provides dramatic visuals of how rising tides could consume infrastructure in the future. Very noticeable. In fact, a levee we walked uh, across, you know, within the past year on another tour is mainly submerged now. Saturday's high tide was forecasted to reach seven feet as the sun and moon teamed up to maximize their gravitational pull on the Earth's oceans. Usually you get at this location about five feet uh, at the highest, so seven feet is you know, well over that kind of what we perceive as normal. It's a natural occurrence not everyone on the tour was familiar with. Well, I had never heard of king tides before, actually, uh, and so learning kind of the, the physical phenomenon that causes it, it to occur uh, and how it just changes the topography here throughout throughout the season. Um, very fascinating. Tour guide Ariel Hunter says king tides demonstrate what an average high tide could look like if sea levels rise in the future. And she points out it's not only infrastructure impacted at the slough during king tides. Wildlife, including sea otters and sea birds, are noticeably absent when they occur. From my perspective as a climate change interpreter it is a great opportunity to engage people in discussions about climate change, demystify some of the misconceptions, um, and also really talk about what solutions there are. Reporting in Watsonville, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW, Action News.